Well, welcome back to this final video in this little series we've been doing about introducing household worship. As we said at the beginning, uh, one of the implications for the current pandemic is that we can't gather together corporately as a church family. And so we're encouraging each other um, as households to gather together in our homes uh, for household worship. Now this is something that might be intimidating, might be new to, to some of us. And so these videos aim really simply to encourage us, uh, to give us some tools uh, so we can get going uh, and keep going uh, with this wonderful joy of household worship. Uh, we thought about what household worship is and we said it involves simply three things. Uh, first of all, it involves listening to God as you read the Bible together. Second, we saw uh, that it involves speaking to God as we pray together. And in this final video, I want us to think about the third and final part of household worship, that is praising God, praising him together in our homes. Now that might sound something a little bit daunting. Yeah, okay, we can read, okay, we can, we can speak to God as we pray, but singing together? Uh, for some of us that might feel very uncomfortable. I want to encourage us, simply by thinking for a few moments about why we should do it and a few ideas as to how we do it. Now, th think, let's think about why. I want us to read a couple of verses uh, from Revelation, the last book in the Bible. And these verses tell us that we should praise him because he is worthy. Now, listen to this. Revelation chapter 4 and verse 11. It says, Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you created all things. And by your will they existed and were created. And the next chapter, chapter 5 and verse 12, it says, speaking of Christ, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. He is worthy. He is worthy because he's the creator of all things. Think about it. Every breath that you take is a gift from God the Creator. Every meal that we eat, uh, all the life that we live day by day, it's all from Him. Is He not worthy of praise for that? But more than that, if we are somebody who belongs to Jesus, not only our life, but also our eternal life belongs to Him. He is the Creator and the Redeemer. Christ is the Lamb who was slain, that we might be redeemed to have life eternal. Is that not worth opening our mouths and singing about? So he is worthy. That's the first a great reason why we should do it. But also it is good for us. It is good for us simply to praise God. Now think about it in our current situation. It's so easy to get our minds fixed and focused in our own little bubble and our, our own circumstances. But actually as we lift our eyes and our minds and our hearts to look to Christ, and to praise him for who he is. What does it do? It lifts us beyond our current situation and places us before the God, the triune God, Father, Son and Spirit, who has got our lives in his hands. He's got things sorted. Actually, it takes a lot of the worry out of our current situations. I lift our eyes to him, the one who's got everything in his hands. So why should we do it? Well, we should do it because he is worthy, but also is good for us to do that. And let's think for a few moments just about some ideas how we might do that. So we thought about why. Um, how might we do that? Well, here's the three simple ideas um, for things you can do. Here's the first idea, and it's very, very simple. Sing. Simply start singing. And maybe you've got someone in your house who is a bit musical. Uh, maybe they could play a tune on the piano or guitar, or whatever they play, and to play along to a favourite hymn, and you could sing along to that together. Or maybe you're like, you're like our household and we're not very musical in our household. Well, simply sing without any accompaniments. I had to pick a favourite hymn and maybe sing just a verse or a couple of verses. And sing it aloud together. Now you might say, oh, hang on, Simon, we're not good singers in our house. Well, I'm a terrible singer as well. And actually, that's all right. That's all right. It doesn't matter. We don't need to be polished and perfect. He, God delights 
when we do what we can, what we've been given, if something is worth doing, it's worth doing badly. In our house, when we sing together, so often we get the tunes mixed up or forget the words or whatever else, but that's all right. The important thing is that we sing and with a posture of our hearts of joy and delight in God as we do so. So that's the first idea, simply sing. But maybe you struggle a little bit with that. Here's an idea to help you sing. Why not bring in someone else to sing along with you? Get a CD, a CD with some great hymns or uh, Christian songs on it and put that on, on the, onto play and sing along to that. Or if you go onto YouTube, as we've been doing on Sunday mornings, uh, for some of our hymns, you can type into YouTube the words of any favourite hymn and you're bound to find coming up the, the, the music and the words coming up and you can sing along with the words on the screen in front of you. Make use of the technology to, to enable you to sing. You mightn't have anyone musical in your home, but you can have access through the internet or through CDs of a great many musical gifts of others to help you to sing and to praise God together. So that's the second idea, is to use some musical accompaniment. And the third idea, it doesn't involve singing, although you can try it if you want, but simply open the Bible and turn to the book of Psalms and take a psalm and why not read it aloud together and use the words of the psalm to, to, to praise God together. A great idea. God has given us these words in Scripture to teach us what it looks like to praise him from the heart. Why not use those? But the important thing is simply to lift our eyes to our God who is worthy and to lift our hearts to him into light and to praise him together. We should do it because he is worthy. But also we should do it because it is good for us. It is good for our souls to praise him together. Well, I hope this little series of videos has been a real encouragement to you as you live through lockdown and as you encourage one another in your homes as Christians through lockdown. Uh, can I encourage you to keep on going? Sometimes it can feel hard doing these things, singing and praying and reading the Bible together. Sometimes it feels like more of a slog, especially if you've got young children at home. It can sometimes feel going a few steps backwards before you make any progress, but actually it is worth it. As you read the Bible, we hear God speak to us. As we pray, we draw near to our Heavenly Father who knows what we need. And as we sing, we lift our hearts and our minds to the God who is worthy and who is above our every situation. Can I encourage you to keep going? Keep going, gathering in your homes. It is worth it. It is more than worth it. Well, it's been wonderful speaking to you. I hope this series has been an encouragement to you. If you've got any questions, do don't do get in touch. Don't hesitate to contact me you know, through the, the Facebook page or, or the website. Uh, do get in touch or for ideas or resources. But again, it's been wonderful to speak to you. And uh, can I encourage you to keep going, seeking the Lord together in your homes. Goodbye.